My name is David Williams, and I'm the full-time faculty member and course coordinator for our General Education Language Arts program at CNM. So last semester, we were tasked with creating contextualized courses in retail management and hospitality and tourism for our highest level, which is 0950. The course is divided into five weekly modules. It's an intensive course, so it reflects our previous 15-week courses. There is a lot to do, but it definitely is 15 weeks of information in five weeks. So just as, a, just as an example of that, in the traditional curriculum, the students watch a TED Talk in the first week and they take a quiz about it. For the retail management, I found this great TED Talk about what it takes to be a great leader. Managers are leaders, so I thought this would be very appropriate for the students to watch. They can watch it, and then they can reflect a little bit on why they watched it, what, was, what it was about. After that, they take a quiz on the structure of the talk. The reader uses a very traditional persuasive essay format in which she gives her reasons, gives support, and that is what the students are quizzed on. Um, it's diagnostic, so it's just a great place for me to understand where they are and for them to get a taste of the retail management and what's in store. In week two, they really start getting into the media information that they'll find on the GED or the HiSET exams. They have to do tone, purpose, point of view, and evaluation of author's argument or reading, so I inserted an activity about a letter of complaint, which is something that does come up often in retail management. So it gives them their purpose, it reviews everything that they have seen so far, gives them their purpose, tells them exactly what to do. It also contains a template for a complaint letter, which they can fill out, and then there's my example and the one that they have to write. So this is an assignment that they have to submit because we're going to revisit it again in week number three. I'll tell you, week number three was a little difficult to contextualize because uh, most of it is fiction, character development, figurative language, things like that. So I'll give you an example of that. Here's where they look at their um, letter of complaint again. The first one was formal, so the second one is informal. The second one they're going to write is informal, and this is a compare and contrast activity where they look at their two letters of complaint and the differences between them and the similarities, of course. So we get into plot, character development, character motivation. So I thought a great activity would be them for them to create a character. Uh, I gave them an example and a little chart to fill out with various questions that they need to answer so that they had the background for their character. The character does have to be a retail manager or does have to be working in the area of retail. And I, I think they're going to really enjoy it. I'm very excited to read these. Uh, week four is all about grammar and mechanics, which some people think is very dry and boring. I think it's the most exciting stuff in the world. So to save you from it, we're going to skip over it. And we'll look at week five, in which they have their final activity, their final project, which is about the Retail Management Certificate Program. So the instructions are to do some research about it, avoid plagiarism, and then their topic is how will completing the Certificate Program in Retail Management at CNM enrich your career? And again, we go over just a quick review of the outline again and some final instructions. Most everything is steeped in retail management, so the students get wonderful exposure to both the necessities, the really nitty-gritty information that will be on the GED or the high set, the grammar, the punctuation, the structure, tone, purpose, and all of that stuff, as well as a huge dose of retail management. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'm going to turn it over to Mary. Thanks. Hello, everyone. My name is Mary Ale. I am a high school equivalency math instructor in adult basic education at Central New Mexico Community College. I was asked to contextualize our GEMA 0950 math course, which is our highest level math course students take in preparation to successfully complete the GED or high set math subject test, both for students pursuing their certificate in retail management or hospitality and tourism. Our GEMA 0950 course is called Basic Algebra and Geometry. The student learning outcomes and course objectives are the same for the contextualized course as they are for our regular GEMA 0950 course. Since my language arts colleague, David Williams, toured you around the language arts contextualized course for retail management, I will share with you some of the contextualized math course for hospitality and tourism.
What I love about this course is first, a high percentage of the learning materials, assignments, and quizzes are relevant to the field of hospitality and tourism and its various sectors. Second, the contextualized material can be used in an in-person course or in an online course. Third, I love that the material sometimes draws on data from the United States Bureau of Economic Analysis related to travel and tourism, as well as the New Mexico True Dashboard. Last, I love that the material could also be used in a non-contextualized GEMA 0950 class to help students see real-world applications of algebra and geometry, and perhaps persuade some of those students to go into hospitality and tourism as a career, and perhaps maybe even in New Mexico. Our math courses, like our language arts courses, are five weeks. And let me show you now a few examples of contextualized material in this GEMA 0950 course. So we are looking now at the week one learning module for our GEMA 0950 course. Each week, our students see an introduction and what are the related course competencies and module learning outcomes. They will also have a checklist for each week. And then you can see the contextualized material beginning. So in week one, the students receive an introduction to the hospitality and tourism industry. And their discussion board on class introductions includes a few questions. One, asking them to describe what their specific interest is in the hospitality and tourism industry. And a second question, asking them to describe two places they think that math might be used in this industry. You can see in our math course, we do use Alex to support learning. This is the same in our GEMA 0950 non-contextualized course. In week one, one of the contextualized assignments is using their learning to do an occupant load assignment. So we all became familiar a lot with occupancy loads during the COVID-19 pandemic when we were at maybe 50% or 75% occupancy. So they will watch a short video on calculating occupancy load and then do an assignment related to that as well. There is a volume in hospitality tourism assignment that looks at having a business and needing to uh, stock inventory and be able to have enough storage space to stock all those hydration bottles that they will need for their tour company that they will have. So let's take a look at uh, another example of a contextualized assignment. And I am going to go to week two. And again, you see the welcome, the course competencies, the module learning outcomes, the checklist. So the student discussion board for week two deals with temperature conversion and his traveling to a historic site and how they might advise hikers at that site. It also deals with, in week two, we also deal with distance um, equals rate times time. So there are some problems that are contextualized to hiking as well. There's videos on temperature conversion and there's also a quiz relating to solving formulas for a specified variable that has examples that they would use uh, in hospitality and tourism, uh, like converting between Fahrenheit and Celsius, Celsius and Fahrenheit, as well as distance equals rate times time, and where they are actually deciding on two destinations for themselves and then Google mapping them and comparing results on distance equals rate times time to what they calculate. So let me just show you a couple more examples. If we look at, I'm going to go to week five, right? So in week five, uh, we are looking at some quadrat, the quadratic formula, quadratic equations, uh, we're looking at some characteristics of parabolas. So there is a short video on real world applications of parabolas that include uh, some historic sites as well as some sites out in nature and, and the natural world. There is a discussion topic on a vertex of a rainbow. Uh, that students can uh, derive the vertex of a rainbow. I do want to show you the assignment on parabolas and quadratic 
equations. And before I do that, I just want to point out that there is a quiz on the quadratic formula and owning a tour company. That is another contextualized assignment and is another way for students to determine a break-even point. And so this is on parabolas and quadratic equations, right? So in this assignment, they are working with a few, it's, it's contextualized the hospitality and tourism, a few historic sites, one is the St. Louis Arch, which even though technically that's a hyperbolic cosine hyperbola, um, it, a parabola can be used to closely approximate that. So students will learn from that historic site about parabolas opening upwards or downwards, how to calculate the axis of symmetry and the vertex. So that's one assignment. And then if we go to a national park, if we take a look at Arcadian National Park and an image from there, we can approximate a parabola from there as well. And students are looking and answering similar questions about the parabola opening upward or downward, axis of symmetry, vertex, etc. Okay, so let's go back just to our course. And, and there you can see also the quadratic formula and to our company quiz as well. So I hope you enjoyed this very brief introduction to our contextualized course in basic algebra and geometry for hospitality and tourism. Again, my name is Mary Ale. Please reach out to me at mehle at cnm.edu if you would like more information or have questions. Thank you again for watching.